Pokemon Scarlet and Violet allow multiplayer gameplay with up to four players. Um, yeah, so what's this? Hold on. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with your friends, you can head out on adventures together up to four of you at a time. So you can literally just play this. You can literally just play the game co-op like 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 how Sword and Shield should have been, basically, with um, that's why fucking are they nuts. both lizards? Why are they both lizards? Why can't legendaries be two different things anymore? What do you mean? I literally just said about Solgaleo and Lunala. What? They're two, they're, we've got a cat and a bat. And what was Jen say? I, I like this. I prefer this. I, I don't know. I prefer this personally. I'm, I'm glad they're both lizards. I mean, I'm the fucking biggest lizard fan of all time. I love lizards so much. This they is cool. Amazing. They do. They look so fucking good. They... They are genuinely the one on the right. I feel like I've seen it before. <laughs> uh, dude, why are they just standing, bro? I love the pixel eyes on the one on the right. I don't know Le what Chonk, it is about Pokemon it, but it's just so cool. Dude, looks like an olive him hyped. Lechonk. Wait, hold on. We're getting a bunch of fucking super chats over here. Lechonk is the best Pokemon, and the little grass dude looks like an olive him hyped. Dude, same. Like, one thing I noticed is a lot of the Pokemon look like they're, they're actually, like, they're, they're to scale, if that makes sense. And we've got two different professors, which, holy shit, Professor fucking, what's her name, Soda or some shit? <laughs> Sada. <laughs> Professor Soda. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe would lose his fucking mind, bro. Sada. These are Nexomon. Sada and Tula. Yes. Wait, she has fangs! She has fangs! She's so cool! She's so cool! Why She's does she so have cool. fangs? She's so cool! I love her! Why does she have fangs? Professor Giga Chad? Look at, look at his fucking chin, bro. Look, looks like David Beckham, bro. What the fuck's going on? I love their in-game models. I did not expect to see that today. They look fucking awesome. They actually look genuinely so awesome. The professor designs are very past and future. Oh yeah! Holy shit! Oh Wait, look at her! Look at her yeah, fucking! Yeah, yeah. That's why she has fangs. She's from That's the past. That's so These neat. Are... That's such a good observation. Yes. So they um, yeah. So I guess like the leaks or whatever. Of <clears throat> yeah, the leaks are real. So... Scarlet one looks based on an Aztec god, while the other appears to be from Mayan religion. Scarlet one looks like based on Aztec God, while the other one appears to be from Mayan religion. Um, that just blows my mind because, I mean, there, I knew what types the legendaries were. Uh, I think it's Dragon Fighting and Dragon Electric. Um, that was leaked, like like from the the only like from the the only credible leak of the Pokemon community has that was leaked. The the types of the legendaries, and I was just like, oh, they're gonna be so lame, dude. Dragon Fighting, Dragon Electric, ah, uh, cringe. But they're actually fucking amazing. Sexy professor, finally. <laughs> JD, what do you mean? Fucking Sycamore was right there. I think that was his name. I can't get over these. I'm obsessed. These things are so cool. I feel like I would I would be hunting this in Monster Hunter, though. This doesn't look like a Pokemon. They look so cool. I love them. I really do. Oh, my God. Dude, Venom not real. And at least, like, the base, the base models for the characters look like shit, but at least, like, character customization... You can actually make your fucking... Like, look at this. These are, like... These are just... I think that's just the base player. Like, this is just character customization, right? So these these just look like four different characters. They don't look like they're based on the same model at all. So character customization has come a long way by the looks of it. So... Who the fuck is this? Is this, like, the early route rodent? Is that what we're going to class this as? Is this the early route rodent? It's a baby. The models look so weird, like, because they, they actually look to scale. Dude, he looks the most scuffed. He does not look like, he does not look real. He doesn't look proper. I don't know what's wrong with him. He just looks off. Are these three trainers? So is she like your rival? I'm just thinking about it. Is she like the rival? Oh, it might be a Pikachu clone, actually. Yeah, wait, that would make sense if this is the Pikachu clone. I know this is your first battle, so let's have some fun. What's her name? Nimona? Okay. Do you think she's the rival? Like, she's literally wearing the same outfit as you, so she's, like, meant to be, like... I think she's meant to be, like, the same... I think she's your rival, which is pretty fucking cool. 
Yeah, and then we've got the four player stuff, which is just fucking cool. Dude, Scarlet and Violet day one streams are gonna be fucking insane. Holy Wait, shit. Wait, so is that like a Pokemon center in the background? Like, is that a, like a healing station, I guess, in the overworld? Yeah, what the hell? That looks like That's a gas what it looks station. Like. But it looks like you can go inside. There might be like, maybe like a Nurse Joy in there and maybe like a. a might, well, no, that would It might be sense. like a self serving Pokemon center, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this just looks like a. This, this just looks like, like an ATM, sort of. Like, you can walk up and just serve yourself. That's what that, that reminds me of. I don't know why. Like a Pokestop? Yeah. And the Pokemon gas station? Yeah. Dude, this is so cool. I mean, I imagine, like, the, 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 it will be limited as to what you can do, but, like, you can literally go on adventures with each other, which is just fucking oh, cool. Does that mean you can have your Pokemon out with you? Because they ran away oh, with yeah. them, I don't know. Oh, yeah, following Pokemon. Yeah, I think that might be a thing. Yeah, look at them. The Pokemon are following. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't mean... Have they have they removed the game footage not final shit because people keep fucking getting on them about that? Look at this little guy, dude. What is this? This thing's gonna evolve. He has into to something. be like a ghost, grass type or something. He's so cool. Pokemon designs are getting so crazy now. Okay. Oh, the catch animation's so clean. I can't believe this thing's name, bro. Lichonk. Look, right, look at the UI. You guys were you guys were curious about the UI. This is the UI. What are we saying, chat? What are we saying about the UI? Hmm? What are we saying about the UI? It kind of reminds me of Legends a little bit. <laughs> a it's little bit really, more optimal. Yeah, it's really... It's really clean. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about there not being like a background on the Quaxley, but yeah. I swear Lechonk is already a pig character that exists. <laughs> you like it? UI is based. It's too clean. It's okay. It's interesting. Dark mode. <laughs> it does look like a dark mode. I wonder what he's going to turn into. I'm, he might be like the regional rat or whatever. All right. Then we got this random kid. You see what I mean, though? Like, the Pokemon look like they're more to scale. Like, I don't know. Like, they just look really tiny. Like, like Chewtle is fucking... I mean, Chewtle already was tiny, but like, they look more to scale. Wait, what was that? Hold on. We got a better view of that. Yeah, look, 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 look. That's like a Pokemon or Pokemon Center and like something on the right. Maybe like a, I don't, like a trading, I don't know. A trading station? I don't know. Like, it's like a gas station. Yeah, I'm not really, but it has like, it almost looks like a Pokemon Center with the way like the red is there. Like that's yeah, really yeah, been no. a staple. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a open, it's like just something like out in the open world, I imagine. Just so like, they're not putting whole ass buildings. It's just like an open area for like it's cool. Trainers, I like that. trainers that are in the wild area. Check the website. <gasps> you got it, JD. You got it. Let me one second. Pokemon.com. Mm -mm -mm. All right. What's on the website? Dude, Bellsprout is the Pokemon of the day. Number 69. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Check this out. All right. New Pokemon to discover. Learn the new details of Sprigatito, Feypoko, Quaxley, and three Pokemon you'll, um, the three Pokemon you'll choose for your starter Pokemon along with other 100 Pokemon including the new legendary Pokemon Cor Coriadon and Miraiadon. Coriadon and Miraiadon. Okay, so their names are actually relatively easy for to pronounce. Coriadon. Am I saying that right? Coriadon and Miraiadon. Hold the fucking phone. All right. Here we go, chat. Here we go, chat. We're not playing around anymore. Coriadon and Miraiadon, okay? All right, the world of Pokemon has evolved. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the first open world RPGs in the Pokemon series. As you enjoy the hallmarks of the series, meeting, teaming up with battling, training, and trading Pokemon, you'll be able to immerse yourself in a newly evolved adventure. Okay. I'm so glad Talonflame's back. My boy, I missed him. So like, 
a deeper experience of multiplayer gameplay. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet allow multiplayer gameplay with up to four players, along with the series staples such as trading, battling Pokemon. You will be able to explore the various locations of the region in these games with other players. You can discover new Pokemon and explore unfamiliar areas with your friends and family, opening the door to an adventure more precious and fun than ever. That's fucking awesome. That is actually awesome. That is so exciting. I'm really hyped for this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, like, I don't know. There, I mean, I think people's like only <laughs> the only criticism people can have is that like, it, oh well, they should have done this with Sword and Shield, but I'm, I'm it's still exciting nonetheless for me. Um, so hold on, we've got more. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, meet the characters. I love their designs. Oh my gosh. Oh my Holy gosh. I love shit. them so much. That's it. It's final for me. I'm getting Scarlet. No questions asked. <laughs> I'm getting Violet because, I mean, I'm I'm just imagining. So like the, the legendary Pokemon, he uh, he looks like he's been made. Does that make sense? Like he looks like he was made. Fucking like, like a cyborg? He looks like Mewtwo. Yeah, why has he got like fucking digital eyes? He has digital eyes? I don't see it. It's like pixels. Like, how does that exist in Pokemon? Oh, I'm silly. <sighs> two different professors. For the first time in the series, one of two different professors will appear in your game, depending on the version you choose to play. In Pokemon Scarlet, you'll meet Professor Sada. In Pokemon Violet, you'll meet Professor Turo. Each is carrying out research in certain Pokemon lore passed down to the region. So, yeah. Oh, I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Yeah, I like them both a lot. They're very cool. Chad, Dad, or Mommy. <laughs> New uh, Nimona, a powerful Pokemon trainer. Your friend, Nimona, not even rival anymore. What the f fuck? Your friend, Nimona, has a sunny and energetic disposition, and she absolutely loves Pokemon battles. She's an experienced Pokemon trainer and serves as a reliable guide for you on your adventures. She has undisputed skill in battle, though it does seem she is not the best at throwing Pokeballs. Okay, so her, her gimmick is she's just bad at throwing balls. Are these three trainers? <laughs> she has no idea what she's doing. I guess that's that's your rival. I don't know. I don't know. And okay, I guess she'll wear whatever outfit, depending on what version you have. But does it have Charizard? No Charizard so far. But yeah, I think that's... Holy shit, dude. What's up with their chests? Bro, they're proud. They're proud lizards. What do you mean? Ah, okay. So maybe he doesn't have like the digital eye in game. Maybe it was just because of the trailer. I don't know. You see him? Lucy is a Sogamori art. Yeah, I mean, he's still really cool. They're both really cool. But I already, I'm sold now. I'm getting Scarlet. There's no questions. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> getting, I'm getting both, but. <laughs> um, new Pokemon to discover? The first partner Pokemon. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will have never before seen Pokemon waiting um, to meet you. Uh, there are just a few of the incredible Pokemon you'll meet in this adventure. So we got Sprigatito, Fuecoco, Quaxley. I'm still sold on Fuecoco. Legendary Pokemon, Coriadon, and Mariadon. Holy shit, he's floating. And he's walking. He no, he does have pixel eyes. He does. Yeah. So is he like fucking human made or like what? These things are so cool. Like these are genuinely some of the coolest Pokemon we've ever we've ever gotten. These things are genuinely so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> New Pokemon. Palmy, Lechonk, and Smoliv. So it's it is an olive. It's called Smoliv. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, his name is Lechonk. Are you fucking kidding me? And this thing looks like maybe the Pikachu clone? Let's check it out. Palmy. And it's an electric type. Uh, static slash natural cure is its abilities. Palmy is one of the Pokemon used by Nimona. Your friend. She's your friend! Electricity discharging organs on its forepaws. In addition to the electric sacs in its cheeks, Palmy has electricity discharging organs on its forepaws. It generates electricity by rubbing its cheeks, then shocks its opponents by touching them with the pads on its forepaws. Okay, so these massive fucking hands. <clears throat> Thick fur that stores electricity. Not only is the fur uh, that covers its body good insulation against cold, it also serves as a purpose of storing electricity. When feeling uneasy, this cautious Pokemon will begin rubbing its cheeks, preparing itself to discharge an electric shock. Okay. It's really cute. It's really cute. It it looks a bit basic. I hope it evolves, but, you know, if it's the Pikachu clone, then it probably won't. Lechonk. Lechonk is a hog Pokemon, normal type. Lechonk is one of the Pokemon used by Nomona, your friend. Um, okay. Aurora Veil and Gluttony. 
Aroma Veil. Dude, this is just the thing from De Seven Deadly Sins. I was literally just thinking that. A gourmand with an excellent nose. Lechonk uses its sense of smell to find and eat only the most fragrant wild grass and the richest berries. As a result of dining habits, it has come to radiate an aroma resembling herbs that bug Pokemon dislike. Timid and faint-hearted, but also strong. If attacked by an opponent and startled, it will charge forward in panic. It may appear fat at first glance, but in reality, the Pokemon's body is mostly muscle, built by constantly walking around in search for food. <laughs> he just like me. <laughs> I, I love him. He's so cute. He may appear fat at first glance. That's so fucking funny, dude. That's such a funny sentence. He looks fat, but he's literally just a muscle. And then we've got Smoliv, which is just a... It's a grass normal type! Let's go! I love normal types. Fucking grass normal. That's such a cool type combo. Do we have a grass normal type yet? Oil is so bitter and astringent. It will make you... Dude, is this a game for kids? Can you make the words easier, please? Oil that comes out of its head has a very strong, bitter taste, and it's not suitable for consumption. When Startled or attacked, Smoliv will shoot this oil out, slowing its opponent down. It will then seize that moment to run away. Fine without eating or drinking. In the fruit on its uh, in the fruit on its head, small of stores oil uh, made from its nutrients it gathers uh, through photosynthesis. As a result, it can go for weeks without eating or drinking. It prefers dry and sunny climates and seems to spend its days in sunbathing. Okay. Oh yeah, Sawsbuck. He's a grass normal type. Sawsbuck's kind of cringe though. So yeah, we got five new Pokemon reveals. That's in like a bunch of new. That's dude. Holy fuck! I'm in love with both of them. I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know which one I prefer, truly. Like, I love them both. I don't have a, I don't have a favorite. We're like, like, Zassi and Zamazenta. I think I like Zamazenta more at first. So which from the trailer? Like, anything from the trailer we got today, what was, like, your favorite that we've seen? These. If you could pick one thing. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I care about right now, dude. These, are, these guys are all I care about right now. Oh, Mar Mariah means future and Korai means past. Pretty cool. Mariah and Koraya. So it's literally just future and past dawn. Koraidon and Mariah Dawn grace the covers of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, respectively. Koraidon is a legend of Pokemon that can meet Scarlet, and Mariah Dawn, legend of meet Violet. These two Pokemon are said to have powers that far surpass those of other Pokemon, but details about Koraidon and Mariah Dawn are still shrouded in mystery. Cool. As any legendary would be. Looks like the re leaks were real. I mean, I, I knew they were, though, because, I mean, the fucking. What's his face? The 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 leaker that the leaker is literally like always right <laughs> he's never wrong about anything 